Okay, everyone. I'm going to be doing a little uh, video recording here. I have Windows 10 Home 64 bit desktop PC, the processor, or whatever you want to call it, it's an AMD. It's not an Intel, it's an AMD. And it's an Asus, or Asus, however you pronounce it, I don't know. A S U S. And um, it's got 8 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte hard drive. Today I'm going to be talking about OpenShot Video Editor. Okay. And this version, I'm going to wait for it to boot up here. See how it goes. Um, this version of OpenShot Video Editor, I think this is originally meant for Linux, but the guy's been working on it uh, so that it works on Windows PCs as well. I think. Mac too. I'm not sure. I'm, I know it's pretty sure a Linux um, video editor, but again, he's um, trying to work on it so it works on Windows. And th this version of OpenShot Video Editor is version 2.3.3. Now, I make special note of that because the other versions before it crashed repeatedly. 2.3.0, 2.3.1, and 2.3.2 crashed a lot, but Again, OpenShot Video Editor version 233 works pretty good. So far, I didn't it didn't crash, and I just did something simple. I just put like um, like uh, a, a ton of uh, <laughs> a ton of video clips. I wonder if I could do it live like this. Oh, huh. well, maybe it might work. Oh, what do you know? It does. I just um, highlighted the video clips and dragged them all into this um, window here. And then I put all of them into... I don't know if I can put them all in. This is different. <laughs> I've been watching this pro, uh, program for a while. I'm not going to put them all in there. I'm just going to see what happens. Nope. Nope. Okay, just one at a time. Yeah, just does one at a time. So, who's whistling? Oh well. So anyway, I just dragged like a few clips. It, it let me merge a bunch of clips, like a total of nine clips. But I'm just doing this for example. <laughs> and you can move them and stuff like that. I really don't know that much about this um, video editor. I'm still learning about it. Uh, right now, I just used it to merge a bunch of video clips. I didn't use any special effects or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to do this many. Why not? And then, you know, I just put a whole bunch of video clips in a timeline here. You can do, like, more than one um, track. Uh, I really don't understand that yet, but it's different. I like it. And then... Before I even did that, once I got my uh, video clips in here, I saved the project as, and I give it uh, a name. You know, like uh, Mom's Day One. Mom's Day One. Why not? I just put it somewhere. I want to put it in here. This is going to last longer than ten minutes, isn't it? And I saved it where I wanted to save it. The project. That's what I did first. I saved it as a project. And then once I've done that, then I'll go into Edit Preferences. I went into Preferences. And then I changed my language to American English and default theme to Manity, easier to look at. And the image length, I upped it up to 59 seconds. And the volume, I left alone. Um, Blender Path, I left alone. Advanced Title Editor, I left alone. Profiles, I changed my default profile to something lower, like HD 720, 24 frames per second. And I left the default audio, audio sample rate alone. Auto channels, I, uh, I picked stereo 2 channel. I picked that one, but I left this one alone here. Then auto save, I took the check mark out of that. That's all I did. And the cache mode, I switched it from memory to disk. So I changed it to disk and then the cache limit I upped it to 500 
and then image format I chose JPEG and the scale factor I left alone image quality I, um, I left alone the debug mode I put a check mark in there De uh, the, this here I left alone send anonymous metrics and errors I put a check mark in that and keyboard I left alone and then once I did that and once I got my videos picked and put it in the timeline you know whatever and then I went down here and uh, choose to export video and I chose a location to save the exported video you know my creation and the profile says all formats I left that alone the target I left alone video profile that's already been picked because it's previous setting now the quality uh, for as for test purposes, see if it even work on my PC. Um, I pick a low video quality um, thing, quality low. I put that down as low instead of high. You can choose high, but I don't know about my CPU or not, so I chose low as a test. And then I chose export video. Eh, wonderful. Let me do this because I got everything going at the same time. I can guess I can. Okay, and this is what it's doing. This is what it kind of looks like exporting, but I'm not going to really do it. This, I wonder if it'll let me cancel. It's really going pretty fast, actually, but I should cancel because I can hear my fans going. Then, um, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, <laughs> it did part partial. Huh. Eh, that's funny. Oh well, maybe it'll, it'll, it'll disappear once I clean all this out. So anyway, let's say I exported the um, the video and, and all is saved and went well. But yeah, it didn't even crash this time. So that's pretty cool. It didn't crash the this second time. But anyway, um, you know, it works. It works pretty good so far. And I'm gonna highlight all. Curl to A because I'm done with it. Remove from project. And when you move from here, it moves it from down here. And then when you close it, you can click on quit. It'll ask you if you want to save changes to project before closing. No. And now let's see if that file is still in there. The half ass created. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's being played now. See this shit? I do not being like I do not like being parked at a steep slant on a ferry. It freaks me out, dudes. So yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's the recording, and that's what I did. There you go.